Hello, good morning YouTube. Wanted to uh, real quick do an update on my PIP and Sinville AC system, let you guys see how that's running. Uh, right now you're seeing um, the temperature that we have outside. It's rated at, it looks like se almost 70 degrees uh, with an upper trend, uh, 49 degrees, 49 percent humidity. Um, just wanted to show you that because I wanted to show you the Sinville here. Uh, it's currently set at 85 degrees. Um, the room that we're in is comfortable about 74 right now. Uh, temperature's steadily climbing. Um, I turn this on during the daytime because I like to run it primarily off of solar power until I get my uh, 18650 battery bank built. Uh, currently, I'm using capacitors and a uh, set of old 24-volt uh, series batteries. So let me take you outside and let you see what we got. All right, YouTube, if you guys can recall, my uh, Sinville system is an independent power system, power system from my uh, house. I have an Outback 3048 running in the home, and then my Sinville runs off of my PIP that I have inside of my shed currently. Um, when I came out here earlier, the compressor, I think, was on and the fan was on for a minute, so I guess it's off. Maybe you'll get to see it turn back on. It turns on and off as it goes. And I have it running off of the panels that I have facing here. I have uh, two more panels on the roof. Actually, three more panels on the roof that are all powering this from different angles. Um, so, going into the shed, just to kind of let you see what we got as a temporary setup to uh, finish building out a wall uh, for the pit. This can permanently sit at. You can see here that the tape came loose. Um, but that right there is just my power meter. You can see, uh, currently, yeah, the, the compression, all that stuff's turned off. I guess it's just blowing the air back in. It's 46.5 watts, fluctuating between 46.2 and 46.5 watts, uh, going out to that AC system. I uh, have it wired a little wonky and so I can get my cables in. That right there is a 230 plug, and I have it going out through a uh, converted plug to the air conditioning system. Um, my pip here uh, needs to be cleaned up. I, I've had it in the shed for a little bit of time, but I did say I was going to do an updated video and people were looking for it, so let's see what we got. Uh, since I've had this meter, uh, about, 28, seven, about only 2,900 watts has been going through it. Um, I've had that meter on it probably a couple of days, I want to say. Um, the air conditioner I have is a Sunville uh, 25 series, so it's very efficient. It runs about 600 watts when it's at its max. In heat, I believe it runs about 700 watts on its max, but it's very short-lived. It's more like a refrigerator compressor, so it actually has a low kick to it, and it uh, heats and cools the house very well. Uh, not sure if you can pick up on the screen here. These monitors um, are very interactive. Um, I don't think the shunts are calibrated. Or they don't might they might not even have a shot in there at all. They might look at resistance or something. But uh, these are very inaccurate as far as the power coming in, power going out. Um, I do have an amp meter that I've clamped to the solar side coming in, and I'll have three, four amps before the pip or MPP solar picks up one amp. So I do have a DC uh, DC gauge coming in just like that one. And I'll be able to kind of monitor power in and power out a little bit better. Um, I do know I'm wasting a lot of energy on these high resistance batteries here. Um, I have a set of capacitors hooked up to them, but my goal is to have my 18650 battery bank be mounted on the wall next to it inside of an enclosure so that I can run my air conditioning system without uh, big heavy batteries. Um, I was going to originally run it with capacitors, but they kind of drain pretty quickly. Once the sun casts uh, a little bit of uh, shade, oh, I'm sorry, the, the shade casts a little um, line on side of the panels, I start to see my capacitors dip pretty quickly. You guys probably saw that in the previous video. If not, uh, I can link it to the bottom of the page so you guys can see that when I installed it. But um, so far, I'm pretty pleased with my MPP Solar. I wish I would have uh, honestly sprung from the MPPT version, but I am uh, thoroughly considering using a $60 MPPT charge controller I found over in California and hooking that up directly to my battery system. 
gives me a little bit different functionality when it comes to my 18650s. I've, I've seen in other videos where others have had the 4048 version and they're able to calibrate it as a specific uh, charge voltage for those. And I don't want to oversize my battery bank and uh, actually end up killing batteries by trying to charge it at 30 volts um, when, when all I need to do is just calibrate it for 25.2 like I have it. Um, but anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm considering buying that instead of going back and buying another MPP solar. Uh, currently, I just don't have another load that would need 230 volts, but if I had a household that would, was dependent on it, I would definitely buy maybe even two more of these things because these things are great. Um, this one is a grid type version, so it has the option if you have a grid connection uh, to sell power back to the utilities when the batteries are at full. Um, currently, I don't have that option, only difference being I'm not on grid. Um, I have a converter that I found online, it's a couple hundred dollars, um, that I've considered going from 230 volts down to 120 volts to eliminate the need of me having a generator on some cloudy days or whenever I'm equalizing my batteries. Um, same purpose uh, would be basically served if, if, uh, if the clouds are low, I'm not going to get a lot of power, but with the 18650 batteries and their density capacity for, for, uh, for weight and size, I would be able to build a massive uh, battery bank out of those 18650s and have that as a backup power to refill the, the lead acid system that I have inside of my home. So it's a consideration that I'm running with. It's a project that I'm running with in the background. Uh, I'm hoping to continue to make updates for that. I've made a new channel uh, for my power wall. I haven't uploaded the video yet because I'm, I'm meticulously uh, taking BART batteries apart and then reassembling them testing them and everything like that, but soon you will see what we got going there. I've secured a uh, Outback Flexware uh, DC and AC side breaker set. Um, I'm going to get those mounted inside of the enclosure that I'm going to put this on. It may be overrating it, maybe overpowering it, but uh, one of these may end up inside of the home um, to just clean that look up a little bit. And the other one be hooked up alongside this. I might even mount the batteries inside of here because you see uh, next to this capacitor here, I have uh, plenty of room um, that I can mount it on the walls once I move those uh, mounting uh, plates from the positive and negatives. Uh, anyway, just wanted to give you that quick video. I did get an alert on my phone that the battery is low. So, uh, real quick, I guess just. To top five things about this MPP solar. Um, it does have an integrated uh, charge controller. It does turn on and off single. Uh, on its own, it's powered by the sun compared to being powered by the battery from any other uh, system. Uh, top second thing would be the fact that I have all my connections all basically at the bottom. Uh, you can put a fusing on there. It does have a replacement fuse in there. It's pretty easy to get in there and get it fixed. Uh, number three, um, they have a very good uh, customer service program. Um, service program being that if uh, anything goes wrong with it, they'll replace the parts. In fact, this right here is a second motherboard for this particular model of PIP. Um, I had to order it when I uh, felt that the motherboard went bad and it turned out it was a fuse that I had running to it. Um, these are actually still in that box now. But anyway, um, the fuse is going to it from the... Uh, uh, capacitor actually ended up going over 40 amps somehow I didn't realize it and it kept the power from getting to the motherboard and it killed it but I called their support they sent me one out two days later I was picking it up and, and no charge to me uh, number four would be um, the customizability of this I can actually program this to be a 50 hertz 60 hertz I can go in there and uh, do everything itself for change it from 230 volts but with um, a plug-in or some type of adapter, I can get that uh, trans uh, transformer attached to it and train, train that to be down to 120 um, or 110 volts. Um, number five, the cost. Uh, this pip here was about $400 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, $300 plus shipping, about $400. Um, very economical considering that a charge controller can cost that much in other places for MPPT type. Uh, inverters, good quality inverters anyway with a, a, a um, heavy uh, draw from the uh, I 
think it's called thyroid or thyroid. When they have those, they're very rugged, and this one has that. It's very heavy duty instead of it being one of those high frequency. Um, but anyway, for the cost, this thing is great, and it's all built into that one box there. So I would definitely buy against. Now, my uh, bottom three concerns or my worst concerns for this, like I said, I wish. And, and yeah, well, I guess this wouldn't be a con uh, concern about MPP Solar, but I personally wish I would have purchased the uh, MPPT type. This one is uh, just a PWM. It takes the voltage, changes it down as much as it can, and goes a long way. You know, that's all it does. It doesn't convert the voltage down to the right battery voltage. So I can't hook up a 100 volt system to a 24 volt system. I have to work with what I got and make it as close to 24 as I can. Um, number two would be the, uh, the leads. I, they're not very accurate. I would buy my own meters. Uh, inside of here, you guys can probably tell here, it says zero volts input coming from electrical out uh, on AC side. Okay, so here it says three amps is one to my batteries, uh, when realistically it's probably closer to nine amps. 25.9 um, volts, um, that most likely is accurate. I've been able to gauge that and be pretty comfortable with that being off by two tenths of a percent or two tenths of a volt. Um, the wattage is definitely off, as you guys can see here, it kicked up to 280 volts, and then here it's showing that it's on 240. Um, so it's very different right there. I don't like the fact that those meters are so inaccurate. Uh, so that's my second complaint. Now, my third complaint would be just the design of this particular enclosure. I know they fixed it on the 40, 48 a little bit better, but I would like to see a different design for your wires. I had to kind of make my own different... Um, plug-in adapters and things like that. Um, on this wire, I think it's rated to gauge uh, up to a four gauge wire. Um, and that's what I have hooked up to it on the DC side. And that's not a lot of rope current uh, to get in there. Um, so I would definitely change that. And then on the solar side, same thing. Um, if you're planning to run a big system as it's rated for 2400 watts, um, you, you would want to have a gauge in there to where you can put them in there and those single inputs. Um, I noticed that other manufacturers have two uh, charge controllers they have built into the one unit, but this particular one has only one, and I would be concerned that it would overheat and cause the system to malfunction since the charging board is directly hooked up to the motherboard. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, while I got you here, since I'm up here on my ladder, here's the uh, replacement board that I was sent from MPP Solar. You guys can see. Rugged, rugged design. It's pretty heavy. Okay, I'm hoping not to drop it. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright, look at that. Those two inputs are kind of... You guys can see it's not real big on the inputs. Um, the USB actually is a good design too. I didn't even get to mention that. But I would prefer to have some type of Ethernet connection. Um, which you can buy as, an, uh, as a changeover on the 4048s, but not on this particular model. You guys can see there, look at that. Very good design, very clean. Doesn't look like they had crafted this later down the line and, and made it do what it does. Very, very well designed. That right there is where the, the monitoring boards hook up to that are inaccurate. As you guys can see, you don't see any inline shunts here. Um, and I think it looks like resistance to uh, actually understand how much voltage is going in there. And it's very inaccurate. But overall, very good. I think this is the charge controller side. Yeah, it is. You guys can see it has the radiated fins, the phosphates on the side. And then the capacitor is running through. Looks like that revs up the, or revs down the voltage a little bit. Uh, capacitors for the output. <clears throat> okay. Well, anyway, I uh, wanted to show you that. I did notice that since the, both, the watts have kicked up to about 400 now, yeah, it looks like about 400, the air conditioner most likely turns back on. So let me take you back out there and let you see at least the fan going. Let that be the image. Okay, fans not on, but it's at about 400 watts, so I'm assuming the compressor's on. And uh, it should turn on shortly. Not going to waste battery life for that and waste you guys' time on YouTube. But I do thank you for tuning in and looking at the video. 
Um, hopefully, you guys can learn a lot about these two brands, uh, Senville and MPP Solar, and maybe use them in some parts of your design. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them for you. I thank you for tuning in. You guys should uh, have a great Friday as it is Friday. Um, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you uh, know of someone that might want to see it, share it inside of your page. And then obviously click uh, subscribe for those that are interested. And when you subscribe, make sure that you turn on notifications so that you can see my videos as I update them on a regular basis now. Thank you.